Hi everyone, in this video we are going to use Wireshark and some diagrams to examine HTTP protocol. HTTP, the hypertext transfer protocol, is the fundamental conduit for internet communication. It enables clients like web browsers to request data from servers and receive responses. Stateless and versatile, HTTP utilizes URLs, methods, and headers to govern exchanges. With status codes, content types and cookies, it shapes web experiences. You can imagine like it's a vital backbone of the online realm. We can infer from this diagram that HTTP protocol creates a bridge between client and server. Client requests a page data something and server replies. When we look deeper in this diagram, you will realize that there are some other things happening at the background when you make a HTTP request. If you demand something needs a database interaction like viewing tweets, this kind of communication will occur, but you will still get a HTTP response at the end. This never changes. Let's get back to our topic. This is Wireshark. Wireshark is a widely used network protocol analyzer that captures and analyzes network traffic in real time. It helps users inspect data packets, dissect protocols, and troubleshoot network issues. Now, look at the first three packets. The initial three packets are part of the TCP handshake. TCP uses a three-way handshake to establish a connection. But you may have some questions which are, what is TCP? What is the relation between TCP and HTTP? So let me explain it without diving deeper. Now let's look at this diagram, the TCP IP model. Also known as the Internet Protocol Suite is a foundational framework for network computing. It consists of a set of protocols that govern communication across interconnected networks, facilitating data exchange and enabling the Internet's full functionality. The model comprises four layers, network access, network, transport, and application, each responsible for specific tasks in data transmission and network interaction. TCP UDP are in transport layer, and HTTP, FTP, SMTP-like protocols are in application layer. In essence, TCP handles the reliable transmission of data packets while HTTP defines the rules and conventions for requesting and delivering resources such as web pages, images, and other content over the internet. Again, let's go back to Wireshark. As I told you, the first three packets are called three-way handshake. People also call it the opening handshake, SYN, SYNEC, and ACK. Don't forget these three words, SYN, SYNEC, ACK. After that, you can see that user has clicked a page in here. An HTTP GET request has been made from source port 34059 to 80. We sent this request. The client sent this request. After that, the server sends a package which has acknowledgement flag set to 1. I guess this website has no or very small data on its page because only one packet has been sent. After that, server sends HTTP 200 OK status code signifies that the request has been successfully received, understood, and processed by the server. Now, the client sends ACK flag. Client actually saying, I know that you fulfilled my request. Now, the server sends fin ACK flag to client. Server says, I want to finish the communication because data transmission is over. Client also sends same flag to server. The meaning is our intentions are the same. And last of all, server says I acknowledge you and this connection is totally over. Either server or client can finish the communication. It doesn't matter. And the last three packets are called closing handshakes. Closing handshake may contain more than three packets, maybe a couple of extra egg packets, but the logic is the same. Please further explore these protocols, start a Wireshark listener, do requests on your own, and practice yourself. See you on another video.